In this video, we will look at factoring trinomials, which have a greatest common factor. As always, when we are factoring a trinomial, we will always do the greatest common factor first, before we worry about factoring the trinomial itself. For example, in this problem, we see 7x squared plus 21x minus 70. We see that each term is divisible by 7. Factoring out the 7 will leave us with x squared plus 3x minus 10. Now that the GCF is out of there, we notice there is a 1 as a coefficient in front of the x squared. This is nice because it makes the factoring much quicker. Using the AC method, 1 times negative 10 is negative 10, and we want to add the 3. This is possible with 5 and 2 if the 2 is negative. If there is a GCF, we will keep that GCF in front of everything as we continue to factor. Because we had a 1 in front of x squared, we can use the numbers 5 and negative 2 directly in our factors, x plus 5 and x minus 2. This expression is now factored. Let's take a look at another example where we see us factoring out the greatest common factor first, and then factor using the AC method from there. In this problem, we see that the 4, 36, and 80 are all divisible by 4. There is also an x squared that we can factor out along with a y. As we do, this leaves us with x squared plus 9xy plus 20y squared. We can now factor the trinomial using the AC method, and conveniently, there is a 1 in front of the x squared, so we can get to our factors much quicker. a times c is 20, and add to 9. We can see those numbers will be 4 and 5. Keeping the 4x squared y, or the GCF, in front, we can then factor the remaining trinomial using those numbers. We can use x plus 4 and x plus 5. However, before we're done, we need to notice that there are y's in this expression at the end. This means we need y's in each of our factors as well, x plus 4y and x plus 5y. And that will give us our final factors, 4x squared y times x plus 4y times x plus 5y. Always factor the GCF first.